Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome. My name is Janet Kelly, and I'm delighted to see you all here this afternoon um, and to help us uh, celebrate the seventh E. Domingo Memorial Team Writing Awards. And I'd like to make a special welcome to uh, members of E. Domingo's family who are here with us today, her son, uh, Dave Minko, and his daughter, Georgia. So delighted to have you here. And introduce um, uh, about the, our panel for today. No, it's not a panel discussion. Uh, but we have, uh, to my immediate right, uh, Linda Marsh, our Administrator of Youth Services. And uh, to her right is uh, Norval Mitchell, Counselor of the Municipality of East Hands and Chair of the Library Board. So, for my Um, to, um, to give a little background about the A. a Domingo and uh, why the awards program was created, I'd like to read this biographical sketch of Ada. Ada Marion Pearson was born in Upper Stuyak in 1935, the only daughter of Catherine and Wilfred Pearson. In 1957, she married Bob Mingo and moved to Truro. Together they raised two daughters, Jan and Nancy, and a son, David. In 1982, she opened her store, The Book Nook, which uh, sold both new and used books. Ada took a uh, genuine interest in all who visited her store and provided friendly service with a personal touch. And it was not uncommon for her to call the library to let us know that she had found that elusive title we've been seeking. Sadly, Ada passed away on March 31st, 2006. We were very touched and grateful when we read in her obituary that books in her memory could be donated to the library. Now, public libraries strive to promote a love of reading, learning for a lifetime, and a sense of community. Bookseller Ada Mingo had the same goals. So to honor Ada, the Colchester East Camps Public Library Board created the Ada Mingo Memorial to Writing Awards in 2007. And so today we're here to celebrate and honor Ada, and the art of writing. So it's, um, David, you didn't want to say anything today? No. No, no? Okay, okay. <laughs> Once I start, I can't stop. <laughs> <laughs> don't know, don't you you, you sort of have a captive audience. <laughs> <laughs> okay, very good. Um, I, we do have one uh, regret from the, uh, the dignitaries who are invited today, and that is Scott Bryson, um, MP for King's Hands. Um, he uh, sent an email. Uh, saying uh, partially, thank you very much for the invitation to the uh, seventh annual A. Domingo Memorial Team Writing Awards presentation and reception on Saturday, May 11th, at the Truro Branch Library. Unfortunately, I am speaking at an event with the constituency. I wish you great success and send my congratulations to the award recipients and all participants who took part in the competition. Again, thank you for the invitation, and I wish I was able to attend to recognize our youth in Ada Mingo's memory. Uh, Scott Bryson, King's Hands. And now I'd like to hand things over to Lou Marsh, who will speak about this year's awards program. Thank you. Thank you. to the seventh annual Ada Mingo Memorial Teen Writing Awards. And I think this probably is our biggest uh, turnout. And uh, wonderfully, I think it was our biggest amount of entries uh, that we've had in the, uh, the last few years. This contest is open to any teen aged 13 to 19 with the Colchester East 10th Public Library card. This year we received 21 submissions representing 16 communities. Uh, the communities uh, included was Bellman, Bible Hill, Brookfield, Central, uh, uh, Central Rodden, Elmsdale, Harmony, Hilden, McPhee's Corner, Milford, Mill Village, Nutby, Tadamagush, Truro, Upper Onslow, Upper Stuyak, and Valley. So it was spread out across all of our regions. <laughs> The awards are divided into two age categories, and there were judges, uh, a judges committee for each. 
For the 13 to 15 uh, age group, uh, Jan Coates, who was, all, all, who was an author and the daughter of Ada Mango, Carl Fritz, who is a writer and actually a past Ada Mango Award winner, and Yvonne Lance, author. For the 16 to 19 year age group, uh, we had Charmaine Gordon, uh, who was the librarian at the Nova Scotia Community Col College, Truro Campus. Uh, Diane Hibbert, who's an author, and Jay Underwood, author. And I would like to thank them for their time, and uh, they have been with us for, for a number of years, so, and their interest in this award is uh, very, uh, very welcome. And I'd like to present uh, to them a gift of appreciation. I know that uh, Jay is here. Thank you again, Jay. Thank you again. And Pearl, for your first year, I am most appreciative and thank you. Thank you. Norval Mitchell, the chair of the Colchester East Tents Public Library Board, to present the prizes and certificates. <laughs> Thank you. On behalf of, uh, of the residents of East Tents and uh, the residents of Truro and Colchester County, we're glad you took the time this afternoon to come and pay homage to these excellent writers. As a retired school teacher, I value writing very, very highly on my list. It's almost as high as reading, but if you're a good reader, you somehow develop to be a good writer. But thanks for coming. I must apologize in the beginning, looking at some of the names between Linda, myself, and Janet. Uh, we were trying to figure out some of the pronunciations of some of the names that aren't necessarily familiar to me. So if I say it wrong or I asked you to pronounce it so I can repeat it. I would appreciate that. Is that okay? The 2013 participants, Anna Barfoot from Center Rodden, Emma Barfoot from Center Rodden, <laughs> Megan Boussier from Truro, Keegan Burns from Truro. Yeah, they can come up and get your certificates over here. Okay. Yes. Yeah. yes. Uh, so Keegan, are you here today? Is Anna and Emma here? My apologies. Uh, Maria Colpitz, or Colpitz, and she's from Brookfield. <laughs> Emma Landry from Elmsdale, my hometown. <laughs> Taylor Landry from Town of Magush, is she here? Zoe Maggie is a, is a Boshier? Beaner. Beaner. <laughs> Bria Matt Manthorn. Uh, Jess McLeod from Hilda. <laughs> Varija Rapushinhi <laughs> from Bible Hill. 
Is he here or she? She. she. <laughs> Jordan Smith from Nutby. Sam Smith from Milford. Salam Umla from Turo. That was a list of the participants. We now go to the 2013 award recipients in the 13 to 15 age category. Honorable mention, Arden Keys from Valley. Place goes to Hannah Cullen from Truro. Second place, Emma Warwick from Belden. First place in this category goes to Rashidi. Is she the person here? Yeah. <laughs> Say that again. Harshini. Harshini. Adam Agum. The 16 to 19 age category, third place, uh, Kylie Graham from Second place to Stephen Greener from Truro. Congratulate you all. Well done. And now we invite you to uh, to um, look at the displays. And some of you may have noticed the older age group is um, is outside, and uh, the younger age group in here. Uh, the more recipients and participants, and um, also to partake of refreshments. And also, yes, okay. I, I'm getting the signal here. There's okay. I, and also, I know that uh, Wendy Robichaux will would like to take some photos of the award winners. Um, so I guess, and that's Wendy over there by the, by the clock. <laughs> and so if you could uh, go and, and uh, meet with her, and probably take you upstairs, and write and that for some photos. And okay, I'm going to remind you that. Oh, very good. I want you to know. Very good. Just before you get out to mingle, 
I especially want to thank parents for encouraging their pedagogy writers. It's very important, and they can be very Next year for the eighth uh, Avery Award.